mystery, murder, suspense, and so much more. You're definitely going to want to check out this next novel and have it at the top of your reading list. Award-winning local author and lawyer Douglas J. Wood is joining me today to talk about his latest book. It's called The Shakespeare Killer. That sounds pretty creepy, so I'm <laughs> excited to learn all about it. It actually comes out this week. Thank you so much for coming Thanks on. Thanks for having me. So let's talk a little bit about this new novel. Without mm -hmm. giving too many secrets away, what can readers expect? Well, this is a sequel to the previous book, Blood on the Bayou, where I have a main character named Chris Demeglio, who's a FBI profiler. FBI profile, and in this book, he is tracking down a serial killer who is killing defense attorneys. So mm -hmm. what's not to like about that, I guess, right? Right. So he's looking for the clues, trying to find where this killer is, and uh, a lot of interplay and tensions and, and clues and things like that. So you can be your own detective as you're reading the books, if you can figure it out before the end, and, and that's basically what the book is about. And now, when you sat down to write this book, what was kind of going through your head? Did you have to kind of start from the very beginning or you knew what you wanted to write into this book? I, I, I pretty much know the, the general plot, but the, the biggest part of the writing process for me is doing the research. So the exciting part is I get to talk to people that, that you'd be amazed will talk to you. Um, in this particular book, I spoke to a lot of attorneys. A lot, I spoke to the warden's office at the Iowa State Prison. I spoke to computer hackers. In previous books, I've spoken to Islamic clerics, I've spoken to voodoo priestesses. I mean, it's amazing how many people will talk to you. If you just pick up the phone <laughs> and say, Hi, I'm Doug Wood, I'm, I'm writing a book, will you talk to me? I think usually the people would say, I don't know who you are, no, but they, the exact opposite. They wow. love to talk about these things and you, you learn a great deal. So I do, I have a plot line in mind. I do a lot of research. Usually it takes me about eight months to go from beginning to end and then I just start to write and the ideas come and eventually it it gets done. So a lot of research and like you said, reaching out to different businesses to kind of give you an idea. So of course, what's next for you after this book is now released? Well, there's, I've got an idea for the, the, next, the, the next book where the profiler finds yet a, a another or hopefully finds another serial killer, but one that is a little different than any probably anyone has thought about before. I can't let that one out, <laughs> but, but it's, it's, uh, it's uh, an interesting idea and we'll see where it goes, but uh, yeah, there's always another book in you if you started doing this, so you can't stop. It's like a, it's an obsession, so <laughs> we'll see where this one goes. It'll be my, my uh, you know, the 11th book and, and, wow. uh, and ninth novel, so uh, we'll see how many more there are left, but Well, it's, it's a good obsession for sure. Yeah. Now, where can viewers go to check out this book or buy it? Well, it's available in, in most bookstores. It's also available, the easiest way is online, obviously through Amazon and Barnes and & Noble and, and the like. I'm also going to be doing a book signing this Saturday on the 15th at 4 o'clock at Pomegranate Bookstore here in town in Wilmington. So folks can obviously get it there. Uh, and they can also get it uh, through my website at douglasjwood.com and they can see all the other works and, and things of that nature. But it's available quite broadly. Hopefully. Yeah, there's definitely not a reason of why you can't find the book. And like Douglas said, he will be signing books this Saturday. We'll have all that information on our website. Thank you so much for Thank coming on and me. congratulations on your new Thank book. Thank you. Taking a look at